Welcome to Credit Matters, the weekly show highlighting Standard & Poor's analysis and global perspective on the latest credit market developments. My name is Ted Burbage. Joining me today is Erkan Turk. Erkan's a member of our Structured Finance Research Team. Erkan's here to discuss our 2012 outlook for the U.S. asset-backed securities market. Erkan, welcome. Um, I think you guys put out a note this week saying the headline number for total ABS is somewhere between 120, 125 billion for next year. Um, how would that break out amongst the major asset classes? Obviously, the order ABS will still be in the driver's seat. That should account for about 80 billion of that amount. Okay. Uh, followed by credit cards, about 20 billion, and the student loans in the range of 15 billion. Okay. And, and in total, that's probably you know eight to 10 percent growth from what we've seen this year, 2011. Oh, I think so. Okay. Right. Talk about um, sorry. Talk about some of the you know underlying drivers. Things like I know you've mentioned several times in your research, uh, consumer deleveraging, um, auto sales. Uh, the slow economic growth that you know, we're expecting to see in 2012. How is that baked into these forecasts? Certainly. Well, in general, consumer ABS fundamentals are still strong, and we believe that they are likely to remain uh, that way. Economy and housing will still matter uh, next year because housing has been a drag on, on economy, and it could still be a drag on economy in 2012. That is likely to create a slow-growing grow economy. But in particular, if we turn to, let's say, auto markets, uh, we are expecting about 6% increase in auto sales. And along the same line, the auto issuance is likely to increase uh, in the same right. is percentage. Is that generally a one-for-one -one relationship? Not so always. If you focus on 2011, in fact, the auto issuance was higher than in terms of percentages, okay. higher than the auto sales. Okay. Uh, it should be a good driver. Right. Generally, it, it tracks auto sales because that's where the loans uh, come out. But given the fundamentals, such as the spread environment or the collateral performance, it could vary year to year. And I guess of, uh, on the credit card side, a different story, right? There. Right. On the credit card side, certainly banks' ability to use their deposits, cheap funding source in recent years, um, created a different dynamic. The relationship between revolving debt and the credit card issues was not as obvious. Usually the credit card ABS issues tracks revolving that as we pointed that out, as well as the maturity, how much credit card ABS matures over time. Which is what? It's pretty significant in 2012, although I guess just given the liquidity positions of the banks, it doesn't matter, right? It's likely to be significant, uh, more than possibly 50 billion, right. but we are expecting about 20 billion of credit card issuance. ABS issues. So net is decline in the outstandings. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then finally, this, you know, the student loan market. Well, student loan market has faced uh, a different environment like anything else. It is competing with the direct lending program, which is in place after the FELP program terminated right. in 2010. So that changed the dynamics. While student loan ABS, in terms of outstanding still, today is the is the key and l largest asset type, but the issuance is very small because of the uh, direct lending program and the, and the securitization that we've seen mainly focused on uh, refinancing of those existing FELP right. collateral. So I guess we expect to see student loan issuance migrate from the FELP product to the private credit product? Mainly direct lending program will drive, but direct lending program has a limit how much you can right. borrow um, at, at individual level. So that means depending on which school you go the, and the cost of education is rising, so you'll have to rely on uh, part of your educational cost will rely on the private financing. Right, which is a different animal from a credit perspective because you have no federal you know, government guarantee like you do with traditional FELB products. Yes, different. Um, what do you think in your mind are you know, potential risks looming out there in 2012 that could really affect you know, your issuance forecast? Our economist uh, is putting the double depreciation around 30 percent, so certainly that's a risk factor. If that happens, uh, obviously that's driven by yeah. partially what's happening in Europe as well as the housing market. Still, there's downside okay. uh, that we are seeing. And overall, I'm really I'm still concerned with the um, consumer confidence. When I look at the consumer confidence levels, 
they are at recessionary levels. That's a survey-based data, but people are influenced by the employment picture, um, their opportunities, um, right. uh, what's going to happen next year, uh, as well as the as the market as well. Right. So they do remain key concern for ABS market. But we don't expect it to um, present itself in significantly worse uh, credit performance, right? Not really, because the as I said, fundamentals uh, remain strong. Yeah. Auto and the credit card performance increased dramatically. Uh, you could argue that partially the good performance comes from the fact that uh, the uh, credit tightening right. uh, were put in place starting in 2007 and in 2008 that paid off. Right. And those those uh, call out of perform um, dramatically well. That's what we have noticed, and it continues to be that way. Right. And I guess the other you know, looming risk out there, and we've talked about this in this program quite often, is just the, the regulation and what the impact that may have on the economics of securitization in certain sectors. So I guess we'll just have to have to wait and see what you know how that you know gets rolled out. Oh, yeah. definitely. That they seem to be in 2002. We'll continue to see similar issues that we are facing right. today. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time.